for more on this, let's bring in William Lee, Chief Economist at the Milken Institute. Great to have you on the program. Coming off the back of that story there, let's start with the US-China relationship. How important is it for China that the relationship with the US improve in order to see the economic growth that it's seeking? Improving U.S.-China relations is going to be an absolutely critical part of the strategy for developing China's growth model. Uh, right now, the strategy in place is a multi-pronged, multifaceted policy of trying to spur G uh, economic growth, but also to improve the quality of growth. And with the U.S. relations uh, improving, the quality of growth will get, only get better because the private sector will be encouraged to make deals with U.S. companies. And U uh, foreign companies in China have been a huge source of employment, about 10 percent. Of, um, of, of all uh, employment in China stems from foreign firms. 16% uh, of all revenues come from foreign firms and, and, the, and the activity of foreign firms. So for China's quality of, of economic development, it's absolutely critical to get the U.S.-China relations right. And in fact, on top of that, Lee announced today that a modest target for GDP growth at 5% this year is set. Some say this is ambitious. How do you think China can work to achieve this goal? I agree it's ambitious, uh, but China has achieved many more ambitious plans. And I think the key to making this plan successful and getting the 5% growth is to boost the private sector because that's where innovations come from. And also that is consistent with the desire to have high quality growth, high high value added production and high uh, income jobs. Because with China's population growth slowing down, uh, the key now is that every person employed in China has got to produce jobs, uh, produce stuff in a way that improves GDP uh, more than proportion to what it did before, which means high value added, high income jobs. And that's the that's going to be coming from the private sector and innovations in the private sector. And of course, you know, having high income jobs allows people to access the housing market. That has been a challenge for China. Uh, now, the government has announced a plan to have a new development model for the housing market. What, what does this model entail? It looks very optimistic because um, this, this is really, you've hit the, the nail right on the head in terms of China's most pressing problem, have affordable housing and also appropriate housing. The emphasis on the rental market is going to be very good for young urban professionals who are just starting out and just can't afford to buy. Um, but also we need uh, government subsidized housing to let the poor be able to be housed in adequate housing. So those two prongs uh, to try to change the, the way that housing is, is produced and sold is going to be very important, especially reforming uh, the property developers, how they pre-sale houses and to have more governance on what they do with the money after they pre-sold the house. And as part of its strategic goals, China boosted its annual budget for science and technology by 10 percent. This is unprecedented. How much of this strategy relates to the creation of jobs in tech specifically? Oh, absolutely. In fact, that, that is at the heart of the improving quality and, and getting the high value added jobs. As more and more manufacturing, a low value added manufacturing moves into other parts of Asia, uh, China is needing to very, uh, very much move into these high value added high tech sectors. And in order to do that, we need training, uh, which requires some government subsidies and universities to incentivize the training, but also appropriate training so that new graduates will come out and be employable in the high tech sectors. All right, we'll leave it there. Really appreciate your time. William Lee, Chief Economist at the Milken Institute. Thanks, Father.